Hello and welcome to episode 78 of the Snowflake Snow Pro Course Certification In-Depth Training Podcast. I'm your host, Yaqub Abdul-Hakim from Brightflux, a certified Snowflake user, and today we're diving deep into one of Snowflake's powerful features, Variant Columns. This episode is packed with information designed to help you ace your Snowflake certification by understanding every facet of variant columns. So grab a pen and paper or ready your favorite note-taking app and let's demystify this topic together. Variant columns represent one of the innovative ways Snowflake enables handling of semi-structured data, making it a game changer in data warehousing. Unlike traditional columns, which are cast into a specific data type like string, integer, or date time variant columns, can store a variety of data types, including JSON, Avro, ORC, Parquet, or XML data. This flexibility allows Snowflake to efficiently manage semi-structured data without the need for any pre-processing or conversion, directly ingesting and querying the data as is. Let's start with the basics of variant columns. They're a scalar data type that can hold up to a maximum size of 16 MB of semi-structured data. This is crucial for understanding as it impacts how you design your schema and manage your data load processes. When working with variant columns, it's important to note that they utilize a type of indexing called variant indexing to optimize query performance, particularly when accessing nested or array elements within the semi-structured data. One of the major benefits of using variant columns is the ability to leverage the power of Snowflake's SQL engine to run queries directly on semi-structured data, performing complex data analysis without the need for flattening or transforming the data into a structured format. This opens up an incredible range of possibilities for data analysts and scientists, providing them a level of flexibility and efficiency previously unattainable. However, with great power comes great responsibility. Ensuring optimal performance when using variant columns involves understanding their particularities and best practices. One fundamental aspect is pruning. Snowflake's query optimizer can significantly reduce the amount of data scanned by leveraging the metadata of semi-structured data stored in variant columns. This feature known as columnar pruning 